Hey guys, so let's assume that you want to integrate uh, Facebook Messenger with your phone sites funnel. That's pretty easy to do. Previously, we have shared a video on how you can use uh, a tool called ManyChat to connect Messenger to your phone site's landing page um, in the event that you wanted to perhaps set up like a chat bot to be there to answer um, some incoming questions if someone's messaging your business page, right? So you can certainly use ManyChat for this, but if you don't want to get into the weeds of trying to figure out how to use ManyChat, which it's not that difficult, you can always find some templates out there and then use those templates and, and adjust them to meet your business's needs. But if you want to avoid that altogether, if you want those incoming messages just to go to your page and you're going to answer it or you've got an assistant to do that, follow along and we'll get you set up for that. So right now, as you can see here, I'm on the phone site's business page. It might look a little funky, and that's just because um, this uh, I, this page here, uh, I'm an admin on the account and so forth. So um, it's gonna look a little different based upon like this page here from ManyChat, which I'm not an admin on their account. Um, but if I go and click into, uh, let's see, let's try, I'll click into send message here and see if this will work. Okay, so that works, perfect. Um, now, oh, hold on a second. Actually, I know why I was hesitating. Because this is how the page looks if I am a visitor, right? And this is actually what I was thinking before. From this page here, this is like the default page for you as the business owner of the page. Um, if you click here, you can see that this is just for me to be able to edit the button. I wouldn't be able to click through to get my link, but I want that link. So I'm gonna go ahead and click through. And this is what you'll probably have to do. You'll go to these um, the, the ellipsis symbol here and then go to view as page visitor. And this will bring you to approximately what it'll look like for someone visiting your page, right? So then um, you would just click through send message because you want to pull up messenger for your page. Then you can go to the, the gear symbol for options, click through there. And then we're going to go and select open in messenger. I want to open this up in messenger. That way I can grab this URL here. Um, now, if I if I wanted to, um, I could have known that this was going to be opening up in facebook.com forward slash messages forward slash T forward slash and then my page name, um, right? But not everyone knows it. Not everyone knows that. So it's probably just easier for you to, to take those steps that I showed you before in terms of going from send message to options and then open in messenger and then just copy in this URL here, right? So let's go ahead, I've got that copied, right? And I'm gonna go over to uh, phone sites here and I've got a two page funnel here. Um, here's like the, the thank you page where someone can book a consultation. Let's just go in there. Um, ideally, you'd probably wanna put Messenger on a second page. That way you can be sure that you've collected their lead information. Um, you can play around with this if you wanted to bypass the whole lead collection process on the first page and have them just jump into Messenger, that's fine. Um, just be aware that, you know, if you're, if you're busy and you don't, um, have the ability to be able to message them back right away, you're probably going to lose them. And then of course, since you didn't collect that lead information on the first page, you've lost them entirely. So that's why you probably want to put this on second page, but everyone's business is different. You might decide that you're actually going to get more opt-ins if you uh, have them going into messenger directly. So anyways, with that being said, rambled on long enough. Let's go down here to the bottom of the page. Let's click through add block here and then let's click into button. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a new button. And let's just say click here to message me. And then in next field, let's just drop in that URL and then select save. And I guess I could change this over to like black or whatever to, to match that button there. Um, actually, I don't need this button because there's no data being collected there. So I turned that off. This will look a little bit better now. Uh, let's click through view here. So, okay, so they've already filled out their contact information on the previous page. They've landed on this thank you page. And uh, if we had like Calendly or you know schedule once or whatever, one of those added in here, we could have them go ahead and book time for, the, um, <clears throat> for their appointment. But I just set this up really quickly so we can set this up for going to Messenger. So let's click through to this. And then this just should bring the, the lead to Messenger. Now this is gonna look a little funny for you guys just because uh, I'm an admin on that account. So it's showing you like a, a history of people that have um, used the, the phone site spot before. Um, but 
from the leads perspective, uh, it would not have any of this stuff right in here. It would just open up where they could begin to ask a question like, you know, what, <clears throat> what hours are you available? All right, guys, I hope that helps you in terms of getting your Facebook business pages messenger uh, connected to your phone sites funnel. If you have any questions, let us know.